Today guys we are going to turn any tripod into a video tripod even if it had a ball head. So today we're having a look at video head for tripods from Ulanzi for smooth pans and tilts. But guys how good is it compared to a proper super good tripod head? Let's find out. In stock configuration this tripod has a ball head but now we can detach the center column have another one from Ulanzi with flat surface and put on this video head and simply insert it like so and you have a super lightweight around 1.2 kilograms video tripod and guys you can attach this video head to basically any tripod the only feature that's lacking a little bit right now is that you don't have your level adjustment but if you put it onto the ball head itself onto another tripod plate you'll be able to adjust the level as well it will be a little less stable a little less convenient but if you want to you can attach it like so so guys here it is sony a6300 in the cage with 24 to 70 f4 lens and also a monitor on top it's a pretty heavy setup but as you can see we have zero issues with holding this setup of course it's a bit front heavy that is why the camera is leaning forward a bit so i suggest you lock the tilt axis if you don't need it and we'll be comparing this video head to this huge video head which is e-image gh06 i have a review of this uh, video head right here and in the description below but this head is super heavy it's as heavy as this whole setup i guess but i've been doing some magic with this head because i've been shooting macro with 3.5 kilogram camera and had pretty smooth and really stable shots so this head is awesome and how does it compare against this $50 super compact and small lightweight uh, video head from Ulanzi let's find out so test time now guys it's time to test the smoothness so first let's test the pan axis we are using 24 millimeter at uh, APS-C sensor so around 35 millimeters and as you can see guys it's pretty smooth i have turned off the ibis i mean it has no ibis but it was um, an ibis and oss system in the lens i've turned it off and as you can see guys it's doing a good job and i see no stuttering no jitter everything is doing good the head is very very smooth so right now let's test the tilt axis so now let's lock the pan axis and let's test the tilt axis so here we have no tilting front or backwards because i've replaced a little bit of the monitor when we have more or less balanced setup and as you can see guys if i pan uh, i mean i tilt a little bit upwards we have no issues whatsoever so let's pan downwards yeah it's doing pretty fine i don't see any stuttering any jitter nothing is worry me to be honest so now let's unlock the axis which is the pan axis and let's try to make a movement with both tilt and of course pan from left bottom to top right corner so let's start it's probably not gonna be the smoothest uh, pan and tilt i've ever done but if we add a little bit of uh, image stabilization in post it should work more or less fine so as you can see guys it's not doing that bad to be honest for a 50 dollar video head so now let's switch to 70 millimeter which will be around 105 millimeter if i'm correct with my math uh, or even more yeah 105 millimeter right so and let's make a pan with this setup actually let's open up the iris just a little bit like so and now let's try to pan at 105 millimeters with a uh, camera which has super uh, you know notorious rolling shutter effect and uh, as you can see guys it's doing more than fine i yeah <laughs> actually it's good it's good guys so no issues whatsoever now let's compare it to a super heavy and very expensive but also really fluid uh, tripod head the video head from e-image gh06 i don't even need a handle for this tripod head because it has uh, smooth counterbalance and also 
three steps of different smoothness for a pan and tilt and as you can see guys at 70 millimeter on the crop sensor camera we get very fluid motion and of course guys it is smooth enough to make a pan and tilt motion simultaneously it will be smoother than with the Ulanzi little tripod head but still guys this tripod head is like eight times more expensive than this one and a lot more heavy so big thumbs up for Ulanzi for this little tripod head I think you can use this tripod and this tripod head to shoot a wedding for instance it has enough of height as you can see right here so more or less this is the comfort zone for me to use as a wedding filmmaker and for instance a wedding reception will be an easy win for this tripod because your back will say thank you in the end of the day instead of using something like this the build quality is also very very nice we even have a little hex key to tighten some things up and also all the knobs and all the you know the friction of those how smooth they go they're simply perfect so big thumbs up for the build quality and for the convenience and for the size and weight of this system i'll write down the weight somewhere right here so guys i do recommend this video tripod head i think 50 bucks is a really cheap price for this good of a product and my back is really really happy because right now my video tripod setup is this lightweight and portable that i can hold it with two fingers so if you did enjoy this video guys smash the like and subscribe buttons and share your thoughts down in the comment section below which tripod you use and how do you like this lightweight video tripod head and setup overall my name is Alek Nikitin and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye